So this is interesting, Samsung has just released an update to the Galaxy S10 series and this update brings the slow motion video to the front facing camera. So improved camera feature has been added, slow motion feature has been added to the front camera. And the reason I've said this is interesting because this feature is not yet available on the Galaxy Note 10. I think in due course of time, Samsung will add slow motion video to the front facing camera of the Note 10. But right now, this update is available on the S10. And by the way, this is the unlocked Exynos Galaxy S10 Plus. So this update is already out for the unlocked Exynos version. Also, this update adds intelligent Wi-Fi 1.5. Auto hotspots feature has been added. Some tips, then media and devices. So when you drop down the notification panel, you will see media and devices, just like you see on the Note 10. So if I drop down the notification panel, you guys can see media and devices. Personally, I have never ever used this media and devices feature. I don't know what it does, but yeah, Samsung is adding this. Also, I think this is important, improved fingerprint recognition algorithm. So they are doing some tweaks to the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner on this phone. So that is great. Uh, let's go ahead and download this update. By the way, if you don't see this, drop down the notification panel, go to the settings, scroll all the way down, tap on software update and then tap on download and install. And if the update is available, you will see software update available, but if you don't, don't worry, this update will come to your Galaxy S10. Alright, so I will just download and install, then we'll check out the slow motion video for the front facing camera. So I've just finished installing the update and now there is slow motion video on the front facing camera. Now here's the strange part, I've got another update waiting. So that's strange, an update after an update. Anyways, doesn't matter, I will download and install this and then I will show you guys the slow motion video on the front facing camera. So this might be the Android security patch level update because right now the security patch is 1st October 2019. This might bring the November security patch. Anyway, install now, let's see what happens. Alright, so here we are after two back-to-back -back updates and the second update brought the November 2019 security patch level to the Galaxy S10 Plus. And at the time of recording, it is 1st November, so Samsung is a little bit early to the party. That is awesome. So I know what you guys are waiting for, so let's turn the camera on, switch to the front-facing camera, and over here, if I change the mode, you guys will see slow motion video. And this is not your super slow motion video. This is regular slow motion video. So I will just hit the record button, grab my lighter and let's do this. So once more. So now we will preview this. Stop. And I will just play the slow motion video. And if you tap on the screen once, you can actually select which part of the video you want the slow motion to be in. So I can just do this and only this part of the video will play back in slow motion. And let's do this. That is cool. You can also change the speed by tapping over here. And this is one by four, one by eight. So even slower, let's play this. That is awesome. So the front facing camera now has slow motion and I can just press this. You can also mute the volume if you want. So if you press on save, it's going to save the video to the gallery. So let's go back gallery and this is the slow motion video that we cropped out. Awesome. So let me try and record another slow motion video and I will get back to you guys. Okay, so let us give this slow motion feature a go. So I've got my lighter over here.
that is awesome, right? So guys, this is the slow motion feature on the front facing camera on the Galaxy S10 Plus and I will make another video when this feature arrives on the Galaxy Note 10. Also what's new is that you have media and devices buttons over here. I personally have not used this feature on the Note 10 so I don't know what it does. And secondly, if you drop down the notification panel, long press on mobile hotspot and now you have something called auto hotspot. Tap over here, share your phone's internet connection automatically with other devices signed in into your Samsung account or devices that are part of your Samsung account family group. So if you have another Samsung phone which is signed in into your Samsung account or a device that is a part of your Samsung account family group, the phone will automatically share the internet connection with the other phone or that other device. To be honest, I don't want this feature to be turned on because I have a limited data pack on this phone and I don't want all my data to get depleted just because there is internet sharing going on. So that is the auto hotspot feature. Then media and devices, this is also new. The fingerprint scanner has also been updated and you guys already know there is now slow motion video on the front facing camera of the S10. So before I go, I want to point out something. You might see this slight flickering effect when you record slow motion videos indoors, especially with the lights turned on. See that flickering effect? Now this is completely normal, this is because these lights use something called PWM. That means these lights turn on and off at an extremely high rate. Your brain is too slow to perceive that flickering effect, so that's why you see it as a constant source of light. But the phone on slow motion mode will be able to see that flicker. And it's quite obvious when you use this super slow motion video. So one thing you might want to do when you see this flickering effect, go outside and record in natural light. Otherwise what you can do is get yourself some flicker free LED tube or LED bulb. Just like I've got on my overhead lights. So if you want to see more about flicker free LED tubes, click over here. So I've done a review of flicker free LED tubes. So once I turn on my overhead lights, you can see that flickering effect is now gone. That's because these are one of those flicker free LED tubes. So I think that wraps it up for this video and as always if you have enjoyed don't forget to hit the subscribe button and do follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. All the links are down in the video description. So thank you for watching and do stay tuned for more videos like these. I will see you guys next time.